Maya, it's time to get into the 4A action, and you've got one of the best games. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited to get into it. We've got Perryton on the road to Level End. Level End up a handoff. Well, we're going to wait for just a second. We're going to see him. Level End up a handoff to Ricky Rodriguez. Brings the ball down. Field 24 yards for a big Lobo first down. They're now going to be close to the red zone. Quarterback Ethan Salazar. Sends the ball sailing. He's got an open man on the left in a beautiful contested catch there by Gage Potter for the first touchdown of the night. Perryton now fighting back. A handoff to Caden Rodriguez. He's spinning and fighting for a much-needed first down for Perryton. This one actually went to triple overtime, not something we see often. But the Perryton Rangers got it done tonight, 43-35. to Big congratulations to the Rangers there. But now we go to Borger. They're on the road against Lubbock Estacado. Second quarter, Donovan Torres with the reverse handoff to Xavier Lucio, who takes it out wide, and he's going to run this one all the way down the sideline to the end zone, and they get the two-point conversion to make it 16-7. Estacado with the ball again, and Bobby Ross finds the middle wide open, and he's going to also find his way all the way to the end zone. The Matadors win 59-14 and stay undefeated in district. We've got another big one on the road. Tulia on the road to Canadian. Canadian, that was them running out of the tunnel. First play of the game, Canadian's Clay Kendall hits Slayton Dickinson, who hurdles the defender, stays in bounds, and takes it 70 yards to the house to give Canadian a 7-0 lead. Next drive for the Wildcats. Kendall actually calls his own number and goes in for the one-yard touchdown to make it 14-0 Canadian. This one was all Canadian tonight. They win big on the road 50-3. to and speaking of on the road, River Oaks traveling to Dalhart to face the Golden Wolves, running out with the flag for their fallen teammate. River Road is going to have the first possession. Alex Warren passed to Dadrian Wallace. He takes it all the way to the house, and we even get a little celebration for my camera. I felt special, and we had a little slime it out right after that. They're going to go up first. Now it's 13-0 River Road. This time the Golden Wolves are in the red zone. QB Hunter Trussler keeps it for himself and takes it into the end zone. Dalhart comes out on top of this one, 35 to 19. Well, it was the battle of the Bobcats down in Dimmit tonight. Soldiers will start in the red zone. Nice short pass to Cohen from Cohen Galligan to Luke Rodriguez for a tutty. Later on, Soldiers kicks it off to Dimmit, but they can't keep their hands on it, and a whole bunch of Soldiers Bobcats get on the ball. Huge play there for the special teams. Soldiers back in the red zone now. Handoff, Kobe Sims. Now you see him, now we don't. He's making defenders miss and takes it to the house for another tutty. This one was a shutout win. Childress getting their third W in district play tonight, a 69 to nothing win. A big matchup, Bushland and Shallow Water taking on the Mustangs. It's going to be 8-7 Mustangs in the second quarter. Cooper Martin, fade ball. He hits the senior Brody Rowan. What a catch. Toe tapping for the 11-yard touchdown. Shallow Water up. Falcons then looking to score before the half. They go with the Wildcat, Ty Purcell, and will take it up the left sideline and across the goal line for the touchdown. 21-14 at the break. Shallow Water with a big win at home, 21-20. I mean, they say all good things come to an end, an end of a run for Bushland, but it is not the end of the wrap-up. Not the end of the wrap-up. We've got so much more coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I'm Zach Thomas. I'm a Pampa Harvester, and you're watching the wrap-up right now.